Okay, so I want to record, uh, sorry, I want to um, test this class here. I'm going to make a method really quick. I'm going to say um, public make int return to. Let's say. And I'm going to return to. Okay, great. So save that. Now, what I want to do is test this class. So um, I want to write a test case that says, okay, well, does this thing actually return to? You know, we know it does, but let's just humor me for a second. So if I want to test this class, um, so as long as this is selected in the package explorer, which is this guy over here, um, if I uh, select file, new, and J unit test case, and I s right um, I can uh, it gives me a name uh, for the uh, test that I want to create and by the way this also tells me what class I want to test I can switch I can test other classes by the way I can click browse if I want to select other ones so I could you know, select you know built-in class like say rectangle um, or uh, system or you know what whatever whatever what have you right so there's no reason why I can't test any class, and I can test whatever class I want. But um, but for now, we're going to test this tutorial class. So I'll say next, and I want to test the return to function or method. So I'll say finish, and it'll ask me if I want to add J unit to the build path, and you'll want to say yes. So you'll just say okay, okay, and. So now, uh, if I were to, by the way, if I want to run this thing, click on run, and it'll say, you'll get a security alert and just say allow. Okay. And since this was, you know, this says fail not implemented, right? Um, it says, okay, this is, it gives this assertion error. So it's not yet implemented, right? So this, by the way, shows us our test results. So this big red bar indicates failure. So suppose what I want to do is I want to say, okay, well, um, so go over here. And I'm gonna, uh, that's not what I want. I want to say, okay, well, I want to say assert dot assert equals. And you notice I have expected and actual. I can also give a message as well. So I can say, um, so I expect uh, two. And what I actually get is for the tutorial dot return to, right? Okay, I'll save that. So this here says what I expect to get. This here says what this function returns, what this method returns. So this is how we test methods. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Oh, I guess I already did, okay, great. And now I'm gonna run it again. Okay, great, so yeah. Uh, we see this green bar here that indicates that JNIT passed properly, so that, that the test case passed. So if I click over here, uh, we see that this uh, the check mark indicates that this assertion it, uh, did not fail. So the expected equals the actual. There we go.